Welcome back to Earth Motor Channel, everybody. Right behind me, we have a special treat for you guys. We just got this car in. It's our brand new BMW M5 CS. Today, we're going to take a look around it and take it for a test drive, and we'll see what this four-door rocket ship's really about. Now this color is called Brands Hatch Metallic and there's not a lot of this color out there because most of the people that order these cars opt for the frozen uh, option which makes this basically a satin like matte kind of finish and you can get this in a green color too which is really cool. Check out these gorgeous bronze wheels that come standard with this car. They're ginormous in the front 20s and we've got a 275 track width in the front. These gold calipers come standard along with the carbon ceramic brakes that make this car stop on a dime. One other thing that sets this car apart is these badass headlights, man. BMW laser technology is at its finest in this car. So all, most, most new cars nowadays have your, you know, your daytime running LEDs. This car has them too, but they're a little bit different. We can see as we hit the unlock button, get some shadow on the headlight, check them out. They're yellow in true race car fashion. Gotta love BMW for this kind of stuff. Okay, time to pop the hood. Let's see if I can figure this out. This is supposed to happen. Oh my gosh. Three hours later. I promise I know what I'm doing, guys. There we go. Boom, check it out. Well, under the hood is the legendary S63 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 that BMW offers in the other M5s as well. This motor allows this car to produce 627 horsepower and paired with the all wheel drive and these sticky Pirelli P0s, this car is an absolute rocket. Moving on to the interior of this fine German automobile. Um, Literally everywhere I'm looking, I see carbon. On the steering wheel, the entire seats are carbon fiber bucket seats. Uh, you've got extremely supportive bolstering on all sides. And this is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the first super saloons made that have bucket seats in the rear as well. I mean, check that out, that is insane. In all the places that don't have carbon fiber, you've got beautiful leather along with Alcantara accents with the entire roof. The entire uh, steering wheel is covered in, Al uh, in Alcantara with your stitching in the form of your M stripes, the M colors, the red, blue. And in case you forgot what car you were sitting in, it says M5 CS in like 14 different places. So now enough babbling, enough about me babbling along about specs and technical stuff. I want to drive this thing badly, very, very badly. So, so we're going to go ahead and do that. <sighs> Ow. Alrighty, now you have the pleasure of joining me in this beautiful cockpit that is of the M5 CS. These are really comfortable seats, the bolstering is very aggressive, and I am, I am very nicely supported in here, so this really is a car that can be used to the limit on the track, or the street if you are a daredevil. Alright. Put it in gear. Right now we're gonna start off in just your normal touring mode. The transmission is set to its most, uh, set to a smoothest setting. We're in four-wheel drive and we're in complete automatic mode. So let's get it. Now, before we take this video any further, I would like to fill this passenger seat with Earth Motor Cars resident cool guy, Mr. Alex Cortese. So we're going to go ahead and pick him up and then see what his impressions are because he's a huge fan of BMW, so I'm very curious to see what he has to say about this car. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Alex. Oh man, these bucket seats kill oh, you, eh? Oh yeah, look at that. I, I guess that's what you need when you're in an M5 CS, eh? I guess, I guess, I guess. Well, right, to, to, to me, first. to be completely honest, with my frame, I'm feeling perfectly in these seats. What about you? Man, you know how I stand at an absolutely whopping five foot nine and wow. three fourths. My goodness. I feel absolutely fantastic. I feel like I could actually take a nap in this car. Yeah, while you're while this you're guy, pulling never extreme, on company time. Never on company while time. While you're while you're pulling extreme G's on the Nurburgring, mm -hmm. you can take a yeah. nap. Speaking of that, did we know 
that it's in the headrest as well. Oh, I forgot to point that out. This car was developed on the Nürburgring, it actually. It was. Right off the bat, guys, the throttle response on this car is absolutely insane. It does not feel like any other M5 that I have ever driven, let alone any other BMW in general. Mm -hmm. CS is a different breed. I, I had an opportunity to drive this car once before, and I the driving experience itself is very unlike BMW. It feels like a Ferrari 488 Pista had a baby with a GT3 RS. That's that's exactly what it feels like. <laughs> but you but you combine those and make it into a, a daily driver. A, a daily drivable sedan in this car is what you get. Absolutely magnificent. Yeah. The steering, steering is precise. Look at that. Oh wow. And we're not even moving in the seats because the the, the, yeah, the bolstering no is so aggressive. There is no moving. I mean, and if you have a, a young child, they're also more than welcome in the back with the, uh, there's there's more, there's options back there for, for child seats as well, even in those rear bucket seats. They're not as buckety as these, but they're still bucket seats. You see the bolsters? Yeah, back yeah, there. yeah. Still I, mentioned, I mentioned previously in the video that the this is actually one of the first sedans. I think it might even be the first sedan that has genuine bucket seats yeah, like that. Yeah, separate bucket seats. Yeah, the, yeah. the only other car I can think of is the Aston Martin Repeat, which mm -hmm. was way back in the day, so. This is definitely a nice, nice step. Yeah, this color is nice on this car. Too. Oh yeah, definitely. We're still cruising in comfort mode. Now we have, BMW is prone to having so many different modes that you can choose from, so many different settings. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put this in M1 because it was previously configured to have the- It's just too easy to yeah. drive fast in this car. Uh, let's, can I, you mind if I yeah, change go for it. the go transmission? For it. I don't, I, I like S3 instead of D3. Put okay. the transmission to sport. It's manual mode. Manual mode. And when you put the engine it in sounds sport fantastic plus, that's too. when you get the, the snap crackles and pops that are typical from being. They're not obnoxious. You yeah, know, they're not obnoxious at all. It doesn't sound like a overly modified BMW 340. I know nothing about those. Wow, I don't know anyone who has one of those. Yeah. Speaking of obnoxious. The chassis is in sport. Traction control is on. We're in second gear. We're going to get on it just a little bit. Oh wow. Oh yeah. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, man. I mean the- That the, was in boost. Yeah, that was corner. crazy. Yeah, that was nuts. There's no, uh, yeah, you're locked in with these sway bars too. Wow. Yeah, if you had your eyes closed, you would not think that you're in a big beefy five series. That is true. I mean, this car is great for any occasion too. Definitely. Date night, scaring your mother-in-law, <laughs> any occasion. Illegal U-turns, trying not to curb the $5,000 wheels, <laughs> not hitting a Jeep Patriot behind us. This car- <laughs> That car just every... blew. <laughs> that dude was doing more than us on this turn. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. Quite literally every occasion. Alex, would you like to drive this thing? Why not, man? Hey, I'm never gonna turn that off or down. Of course, of course. We're gonna go ahead and park in the shade, turn our hazards on like the Good civilians Good we civilians are. Good civilians we are, of course. We'll do a little swappity swap. We should have done the Chinese thing where we just Chinese let the car roll. Chinese fire drill, let yeah. it roll. Oh. Not cultural appropriation. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. I apologize for the seating position. Man, I thought you were taller than 5'2". Oh, two. no, no, no. Yeah, a little bit. So we got a little quarter of an inch above there. Okay. Oh, this passenger seat has much more space. It's it's just a five series. Like, I mean, I'll literally. tell you too. One thing I really like about this car is that the carbon bucket seat you can move the back. And a lot yeah, of the car, a lot you know, of, like yeah. a lot of performance cars, the carbon buckets you you can't. It's your stuff. One other thing, they're not manual seats. This is full yeah. power all the way. Which adjustment. is which is, which is really awesome. neat yeah. and really impressive too. But it does come at a price. This car is four thousand and eighty-two pounds. I still think they could have saved yeah, some this, weight somewhere, dude, but this thing, it doesn't really need to be that Yeah, they could have pulled a GT3 RS and, uh, and threw in the, the tag <laughs> yeah. door handles. Oh yeah, and the full carbon like door. Oh. Yeah, this is really neat. You get the little turbo spool and mm -hmm. the little uh, blow-off valve noise. It's a really mm -hmm. nice noise in this car. Yeah, they still do the trick. And it's still smooth, like even in the, in the, in the, Sport suspension yeah, and definitely. stuff too. Like I compared it to a GT3 RS, and that car, you like your spine gets rearranged. Yeah. But in this, it it feels very comfortable. Wow. Okay. So I'm just gonna go through. I just wanna look through the settings real quick. I think I can go. Yeah. Okay. So I made the suspension in Sport Plus to the Sport. It's still smooth, but 
it'll grip you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, I mean, we're, that was, you know, that was up to 70 miles an hour and that, that was uh, very, it's just smooth. It's a smooth car. It's like, it's like you don't feel, it's one of these cars that you don't feel like you're going the speed you are. That's kind of a good thing sometimes. It's very, very composed. Because I think a lot of the time, you know, when you feel like you're going like 70 miles an hour and the car suspension is like shaking and you know you're going 70 and it feels like you're going 100. This is the opposite. This Definitely. is like the, oh, you feel, yeah, oh, corner's fantastic. Wow. I mean, that was just yeah. You can't really tell because of this bolstering, but like if we were in a yeah, car regular seats, like, I'd be all the way so over like, here. Like I'm, this is me trying yeah. to move out of the seat, but they're really comfortable too, which is really surprising. Yeah, they, they have a lot of padding. For, and it's Alcantara over here. Yeah, for, it's nice and smooth. And so I have my, I have my, I didn't know that I, I didn't know this. I have my bolster adjustments on the side. Mm -hmm. So if you're a wider gentleman, I mean, I'm, I need to lose a couple pounds. Big that's gentleman for sure. man. You could, you could, you could lower the bolster and make the bolster you know meatier as well so it grips you even more you but if you're if you want to if you want a fast car that's going to turn professional heads that's yeah. that's the best way to do it it's not obnoxious it's not la it's not heads, it's enthusiast heads yeah. that'll get conversations started on the weekend this when you take the it car. to car shows this is the vehicle there's one thing i wanted to mention as well the cooling system in this car is absolutely insane like we yeah. were driving pretty hard just yeah. now it's 103 degrees outside right now mm -hmm. this car was not even at 210 and right now it's, we've been it's, sitting it's, in here it's, it's for about down. 10 minutes and it, the it car's cooled been on. down it's at like it's at like what one 150 i think yeah about that it went down from like 200 to 150 just yeah. in 10 minutes just sitting here and the and car is idling. on remember yeah so it doesn't get better this past weekend i was in a corvette z06 mm -hmm. and we had it idling for about 10 minutes and it was actually getting hotter and hotter mm -hmm. compared to those cars this is just in a league of its own yep i 100 percent agree i don't yeah i don't think this car is comparable to oh i, I think to so many too. Other cars. i think so too i think the m5 and m5 competition mm -hmm. might be comparable to yeah. like you know like you said the gt63 I guess. GT63 yeah, 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 yeah. S. this is in a league of its own it's a mm -hmm. four-door supercar for sure absolutely but yeah, this car is for sale at Earth Motorcars. Check out our website, earthmotorcars.com. We have loads of great inventory, this car being one of them. Um, if you have any questions or concerns regarding this vehicle or any of the others, feel free to give Alex a call. Feel free Absolutely. to give Earth Motorcars a call, and we'll be able to help you. Sounds good, guys. Appreciate you guys coming for this drive along. It's been a pleasure driving, be able to drive this car with you. Like I used said, give us a call, give us a text, give us an email, and we'll be for happy sure. to assist you. Are you going to be happy getting into your 340i now after this, or is it going to ruin everything for you? Well. It might ruin everything yeah. for me. To well, be I'm honest, getting into man. a VQ, so um, yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys later. See you guys.